Hi, so in today's video we're going to do the windscreen wiper sweep. Um, this follows on really well from the tip wedge sweep. Um, they kind of work in unison, so you use them to complement each other. Okay, so <coughs> when I'm in this position, okay, back in my half go butterfly position here, and uh, for example, uh, I try, okay, I try to go to my um, tip sweep, okay, so I'm trying to push the weight this way and trying to get my knee to hop over, but sometimes in this position, when we try to push this way, obviously they push back, okay, so they start to come back into us. So realistically, what I want to try and do in this scenario is I still want to try and create that wedge, okay? I always want to try and get this knee through this gap, okay? If you notice my knee from my butterfly hook is transferred across um, to stop the weight coming too far forward and attach his upper body from his lower body. So from this position here, again, a tip sweep, if I was trying to now tip my partner up and I was trying to retract, but they were doing a very, very good job of driving their weight forward and high. Okay, so if he starts putting his weight over me like this, this is no good. I won't be able to get his hip to the mat. Once I realize I can't get his hip, hip to the mat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer my hand from the shoulder to the armpit. And now what I'm going to essentially do is change the full direction of the sweep. So instead of pushing this way, I now want to take him to his uh, my upper left quadrant. So I'm driving to my lower right right now. And obviously the opposing direction he's going to push is upper left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start guiding the weight. I wouldn't work with my knee. Imagine my knee was my le my leg was long right now. It's not compressed in. And I imagine I'm windscreen wiping him and pushing it away over my body. So this would allow me to get to a single leg X position. From single leg X, we're just gonna go for our standard rest up sweep. So underhook the leg, control the knee, take the single leg X hook underneath to the X, or simply place both feet on the leg start to drive and my only goal is going to be to get his foot above his hip the faster i do this the harder it is for him to stand up the more time i give him to keep his weight his hip above his foot the harder it's going to be for me to generate so i need to do this as soon as i can i need to try and get his foot to start coming above his hip okay now we could run the sweep off the mat but um, usually to complete the sweep, one of the best ways to do it is to retract, the, um, to do the same concept we just did, which is to retract my stand-up, okay? So instead of keep driving forward like this, where he can generate force against me, if he generates force against me, but I go backwards now when I stand up, see, I'll be able to still get up with the foot above the hip. Now I can either pull the knee down towards the mat to start completing my sweep, or obviously run it and elevate it up, okay? So one more time, we attack our tip sweep, catch, drive, create the wedge, but we can't get the weight to go. So look, I'm gonna change direction with this now. Instead of my foot, instead of my wedge coming to the floor, I'm gonna start kicking my leg high, kick my knee, and go to the armpit. Put the weight away from me, underneath the heel, and I wanna try and keep the heel above the hip. If they start generating force towards me, look, I just keep myself, keep his weight away from me, and my goal is going to be to get myself away. Yeah, and then once the heel's above the hip, I can either pull the knee down, or I can keep running it. Running it would be the least efficient, because obviously they can either go out of bounds, they can try to go faster than you, or count you. Once you retract up, you're much better for bringing the weight back down and keeping the heel above the hip to complete um, this single leg X um, windscreen wiper sweep.